guys, welcome back to my channel. Several months ago, I had a several subscribers request that I do a video featuring all of my favorite nude lip colors. So that is what I'm bringing you today. I apologize, it's taken me so long. I thought it would be easier the more time that went by, and it's not because my favorite nude lip color collection has continued to grow. So I have narrowed it down somewhat, but I have a lot of lipstick and liquid lip colors and lip glosses and lip liners in front of me, so we better get started. Okay, so before I start showing you actual swatches, I'm going to just quickly define what I am going to call nude lip colors. So about five years ago, I would say, or more, in the beauty industry, the word nude lipstick generally applied to a washer lips out kind of a color like this, where it was almost like your skin tone color and you put that on and it's very commonly worn with a smoky eye. But over the last, especially I think the last three years, nude lipstick has been paired with nude pink, nude peach, nude brown, nude mauve, nude rose, you get the idea. So I, in the effort to try and narrow down what I'm gonna show you today, I'm trying to focus it more in the nude, meaning neutral color family. Now you will see um, I've got kind of a really pale, more pale nudes, then kind of mid-tone nudes, then deeper nudes. And I'm trying to keep the color base that's paired with that nude more neutral. So <laughs> I had to eliminate a lot of my nude pinks and nude peaches because Otherwise, we would be here for days. One of my favorite really pale nude lip colors is by MAC, and it is Creme de Nude. And this one definitely has a little hint of peach to it. Peach and pink. I think it's well balanced. Definitely wear this with a lip liner. And then in these super pale shades, I usually like to wear a gloss on top, and I'll show you those glosses at the end. So that is Creme de Nude from kind of more of a cheaper end of the spectrum. This one from Ulta, this is number 258. Don't you just hate it when they just give you a number? Come on, let's be a little more creative. And you can see compared to Creme de Nude, this one definitely has a little more tones of pink in it but really nice formula on these and pretty inexpensive. Now going with just a hint more color is this Maybelline Daringly Nude. And this one is a matte formula, but still really creamy. And as I swatch these, you are going to see um, the very different nuances to the nude color. So you'll be able to see those pink and peach undertones. So again, Daringly Nude. Back to MAC lipstick. This is the Viva Glam 2, one of my all-time favorites, and actually what I'm wearing today with a lip liner. Again, that's Viva Glam 2. This one has a little more hints of some rosiness to it. Cooler toned, more rosy than peach. And then this one, which is blankety, and you'll see this one has a little more pink in it. Next up, I have this one. This is just a mini, but it comes in full size. This is Honeycomb from Bite. And we're starting to get just a little bit deeper, but this one really is a wonderful neutral color that can really go with a lot. Um, it does have a little more cool tones to it, but again, beautiful nude color. Now, this one from Tarte, this is their Rainforest collection, and this is Beach Babe. Pull up my sleeve here. <laughs> we'll swatch this one here. And this one definitely has a little more pink. You'll see the next one that I swatch has more brown. So this is Beach Babe. And this one is more my favorite 
when I really want a neutral color. This one works well with my skin tone. This is Rum Punch. And you can see this one has a little more taupey brown color in it. Next, back to MAC, we have Velvet Teddy, very popular color. And this is, I believe, a matte formula. And again, a little bit deeper, we're getting a little darker here, but still neutral enough. It does have slight little bit of some uh, reddish brown undertones, but still really pretty. Then Modesty, and this one I think pulls just a hint more pink than Velvet Teddy. And now we're gonna get into the darkest nude neutral shades. Okay, from MAC, this is Whirl. This color was created because of the immense popularity of the Whirl lip liner. And this is kind of that 90s vibe. It's that kind of more brownish, neutral color, little subtle hint of some red in there, but it's still, it's a beautiful shade. I do love wearing that color. And then this one from MAC, this is one of the few that I chose that has actually a little bit of shimmer, but I don't ever hear anybody talk about this color. It's called Plastique, and it is just such a beautiful shade. It is a little bit lighter, um, but what I like to do is I will generally pair this with a raisin colored lip liner or a brown lip liner. You can really change up this color depending on what lip liner you wear with it. And so again, this is Plastique. Next, we have an Urban Decay Vice Lipstick. This is in 1993, appropriately named, because again, this has those, just that, oh, that's a really nice looking swatch, huh? Um, this has just those reddish brown um, undertones that were really popular when I was in high school. Okay. And then from the drugstore, this is Maybelline Touchable Taupe. And this is a really pretty color, and you're gonna see it's pretty close to that 1993 shade. Again, Touchable Taupe. Okay, so the next category is liquid lipsticks. And I really only have two brands that I'm going to show you today in five colors. None of them are going to be transfer proof. So if you like liquid lipsticks that are transfer proof, you won't like any of these. Um, but all of these do last a very long time on the lips. They don't get that weird rim on the inside of your lips as they wear away. And they don't leave your lips overly dry at the end of the day. I mean, they're not gonna be super moisturized, but they are not gonna make your lips look like a shriveled raisin. So um, the first three, <laughs> I have three from Maybelline, and these are the Superstay Matte Inks. I have them in, uh, let's see, Loyalist, and I'll swatch these for you in a minute, um, Seductress, and Poet. This first one is Loyalist, which is funny because you would think it would be lighter, but this is Loyalist. You can see it has just a little more pink to it. The next one is Poet, and that one leans a little more peach. And then the top one is Seductress, one of my favorites. I used this in maybe a Get Ready With Me this last fall and just love this color. Okay, and then the other formula, which I'm sure none of you can guess what it will be, the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip Colors. These are my favorite. Um, I have an upcoming video that I'm gonna be talking about my experience with Clear Correct, which is like Invisalign. But um, long story short, these became my friend when I was going through that whole process. So, um, but I fell in love with these. These do not overly dry. I like the scent of them. And in particular, these two colors are my favorite 
nude colors. So this first one, let's all say it together, Boss. <laughs> I wore this in a number of videos and some of you stopped asking what I was wearing. You just already knew. And then the other one is Icon. Now the entire line of Gen Nude, um, except with the exception of they did come out with some Gen Nude statement ones, but their original Gen Nude line, they're all nude and neutral. So everyone just has a slight little difference to the shade lighter, darker, more pink, more peach, red, brown, all of that. So these are my two favorite that I feel are super neutral. So this bottom one is Icon, and you can see the difference between this and Boss. Icon has a little more cooler tone, um, almost pinkish hues to it, and then Boss has a little more of a reddish, uh, warmer brown tone to it. So now on to glosses. Now again, I, we could be here till next week if I swatch for you all of my glosses because I have a lot of neutral glosses, but I picked my top favorites for layering over these neutral colors. Now it's not often that I just pop on one of these glosses by itself. I do have a couple that I do that with, but most of the time I use these glosses to put over a nude color and to me that makes them a little less like wash me out kind of a color and just brings a little more life to the lips. The first one is from Bare Minerals and this is in the color Groovy. Now Bare Minerals has their Moxie glosses. These are their, um, I forget what the, the um, category, I think these are their Gen Nude lip glosses or something like that. So again, the color is Groovy and these do have quite a bit of pigment in them, um, but you can see there, it's just a really nice nude color and you can pop these on with a little bit of a lip liner just by themselves, but I like this one over the top of nude lip colors. Next up, Similarly would be the Buxom White Russian. I mentioned this in some in the write or die tag as one of my all-time favorites. So again, a very nude, neutral color. Um, I love this over the top of uh, lip colors or just by itself on a day when I'm at home. And I just, I love the little bit of a minty tingle. These aren't too bad. These are their lip creams. So these are not quite as intense as their uh, first formula. But again, that's White Russian. Next up would be the Marc Jacobs um, Lip Gloss. Now this is probably in the order of those previous three. This is probably ranked number three for me. It is a really nice gloss, but it is less tacky than the other two. So if you don't like any stickiness with your lip gloss, um, this would probably be your favorite out of these three. Um, it is a really nice gloss and it doesn't completely dissolve from your lips right away, but it, it has less tack than these other two formulas do. But again, very similar nude neutral color, but really does give a nice shine on the lips. And I don't think I said what the, the color of this is sugar sugar very popular color out in the beauty world. Okay, now these next three glosses have a little bit of shimmer and this is one of my favorite things to do. And in fact, I'll probably pop one on the top of the lip color I'm wearing here. Um, but these first two are from MAC and these are their lip gloss, um, lip glosses. And they've since changed the packaging. This is old packaging, but their colors are still the same. So this is Oyster Girl another very popular gloss. These are a little more sticky. Again, I don't mind that because I really feel like these stick around a long time, even layered over a lipstick. So this is Oyster Girl. It has a little bit of a pinkish pearl color. Beautiful. And then this is Nymphette. Now, obviously this looks like it's got a lot of color. What I love about Nymphette is it has a little bit of gold. And so I love to use this on a nude lipstick that is a little too pink or a little too cool tone. I'll put this over the top of it. I love it. 
And then the last one is this NYX Cosmic Metals. These are awesome. Uh, found this last summer, I believe, and this is in the color Metropolitan Night. And same concept as the previous two, but these are not quite as um, sticky. These almost have more of an opaque consistency, but they provide a really beautiful golden shimmer, or they have, I think, about six. They might even have more colors than it now, but it's just, it provides a really unique look to the lips. So again, that's Metropolitan Night. So on the top of what I'm wearing here, I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of Oyster Girl and you can just see. And that just brings a little bit of life kind of um, to a nude color. It can also change up the shade just slightly. So now to wrap up this video, I'm gonna give you my favorite lip liners for pairing with nude lip colors. Now, I always wear a lip liner. Always, always, always. I have uneven lip lines and lipsticks, lip glosses, they bleed on me like crazy. Now, most of the formulas that I shared with you today I do not have any problems with bleeding. Sometimes a gloss, sometimes those are a little hard to stay in the lip line, but using a lip liner really helps. Also, a lip liner I have found is the secret to making your perfect nude lipstick color work for you. So what I mean by that is this. Um, let's take, for example, Blankety. Blankety has definite more pink undertones and this sometimes works for me and sometimes it doesn't depending on what I am wearing but if I need to darken it up if I say okay I'm gonna embrace that full pink color I will usually pair it with this mauve lip liner this is from NYX you can see I love this this is probably the second or third one I've gone through this is to me one of my the best neutral lip cut liner colors. It, it has been reported to be a dupe for Max Whirl lip liner. So what I'll do is I will pair this with Blankety, obviously blend out the edge, and it just adds enough depth and some a uh, little hint more of kind of a warm rose color and it works. The other thing I will do, conversely, if I say no, I don't want quite as much pink, I want a little more of a brown tone, I'll take this NYX lip liner in Nutmeg and I will work this along the outer lip line and then blend in blankety in the center and it just it totally changes the color and just makes it work for me or for whatever outfit that I'm wearing. Now, if you don't want to have a lip liner that really changes your nude color, a couple that I have found are really good, just straight up nude neutral colors are, um, this is Vanilla Sky and this is also by NYX, but these are their retractable lip liners. So if you're not into sharpening your own, this is a great lip liner. And you can see it's just a hint darker than my skin tone. And that's kind of what you want to look for is a nude lip pencil that is just maybe one shade darker than your lip, than your uh, skin tone is. And this will not alter your nude lip shade. So if you pair this with something really pale, it's going to keep it pretty light and neutral. Another one that is really nice, a little more on the higher end, um, is the It Your Lips But Better. And this is in the shade Buff Nude. These are really nice lip pencils. They just are a lot more expensive than the NYX ones. So wait for them on sale, but I love this shade. It is just slightly deeper than that Vanilla Sky from NYX. And I love this personally paired with those pale nude shades because I feel like it just gives my lips but better shade. And then two more that are in the higher end but just great formula 
and I feel like really neutral leaning lip pencils are these from Urban Decay. These stay on your lips all day as well as this it one. Um, if you will put these on and let it sit on your lips for about a minute and then add your lipstick, even if your lipstick wears away, you're still going to have your lip liner throughout the day. So the first one is 1993. Shocker, I would like that one, right? Um, this one is not quite as dark as the lipstick that they have also named 1993, but it is definitely more um, of a kind of peachy brown shade. And then a liar, which is a slightly more pink than 1993. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. For those of you who have been searching and searching for your perfect nude or neutral lip color, hopefully this gave you some more ideas of lip colors to try. Now, one thing that I didn't mention earlier, but if you are having a hard time finding your perfect nude or neutral shade, follow your undertone of your skin and your natural lip color and that will help you finding that perfect shade. So because I have more yellow, warm undertones to my skin, the warmer, peachier nudes are more flattering on me and easier to pull off and they look more neutral. I can still wear those cooler tone shades, but they don't look as neutral. Conversely, if you have more pink undertones to your skin, those lip colors that have the cooler pinkier undertones are going to look a little more neutral on you. So again, thank you so much for watching, subscribing for your comments. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite nude lipstick is or lip color is. And I will list all of these colors that I swatched for you here in the description box below with links where you can find those. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.